In today's video, I want to show you how to brown beef for tacos or your favorite recipes. If you're using fresh ground beef, you're ready to go. But if you're using frozen, the first thing I want you to do is to make sure that it's fully thawed out. Otherwise, it's gonna release the water it holds as you cook it, which you'll have to drain out later. It's not a big deal, but if you are expecting crispy brown ground beef, that's not gonna happen if there are a few frozen pieces left. Now you wanna get the pan nice and hot before you add any oil and your beef to the pan. That's also gonna ensure a nice sear on your beef. Now once it's hot, add the oil and let it heat up. If you're using a nonstick pan and you're avoiding added fats, you can use spray or omit the oil completely. Up next, I'm gonna place the ground beef onto the center of the hot pan and immediately break it up into a few bigger pieces with a wooden spatula or one of these ground meat choppers. When those bigger pieces have started to brown, now it's the time that you're gonna break it up into smaller pieces as it cooks. If you've wondered whether to add onions to your ground beef, I recommend that you wait until the ground beef is browned and then you add the onions and seasoning, not when the meat is raw, by the way. Now, once you've got your ground beef seared into smaller pieces, you're gonna try to let those brown without stirring them too much so they have a chance to get crispy and brown. By the way, if you love simple how-to videos like this one, give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more of them on my channel for you. Occasionally, stir your meat and let those sides brown too. If your beef releases a lot of water or fat and you don't want that on your recipe, use a slotted spoon to remove the ground beef from the pan or a large spoon and drain it out before removing it. And that, friends, is how you cook ground beef so that it's crispy and not soggy. Now, if your ground beef is frozen, make sure to watch this next video showing you how to thaw it out super fast. See you next time.